Hey guys, this is Mark Piller. Today we are talking about one of my favorite backend list services, and that is the geolocation service. And the APIs that it provides gives you an ability to retrieve geopoints, which are essentially just objects representing a location of something else that you can plot on the map. If you have used applications like Airbnb, Uber, Yelp, uh, you have experienced geolocation firsthand. So for instance, in Airbnb, whenever you search for a property for, let's say, your next vacation, you can open up a map and uh, as you move the map around, you can see geopoints uh, and point, uh, map markers showing up in the map representing various rental properties. And uh, to translate all of this to back endless, Let's consider the following scenario. Let's say that we have a, a mobile application and for the sake of it, we're gonna draw a very large screen this time. So this is our mobile app. And in this mobile app, let's imagine this is a, a, a just we're looking at a map. And here, let's just say that there is a circular area with a, some sort of coordinates X and Y in the center of that rectangular area and there is a radius right so we need to perform a search let's say that we're going to be doing like a taxi app and then we want to find all the cars available within this geographic area now on the server side let's say that there is a persistent storage where we have our geo points representing available cars stored right there on the server so one of the properties of that uh, geo point is going to be called latitude and the other one is longitude, so lat and long for short. And let's say we have three cars, or well, let's say we have a lot more cars, but three cars that would be found within the search. And essentially, whenever you say, you know, you move the map around and a request goes out to the server, and this is our API request, and the server performs the search of all the geo points that can be found within this radius in this circular area. So these three points, Three points are returned back to the application and they can be plotted on the map. So we have, this is a point one, let's say this guy right here. Uh, there is a point two, this guy, and then there is a point three, this guy, okay? So the fact that we could go to the server and say, hey server, here's the radius, starting from this central point, find me all the geo points, in this case, cars or restaurants or points of interest, whatever, and then the server returns back those points to you, you can plot them on the map. So the whole algorithm for finding all the geo points that can be found within this geographic area, whether it is rectangular or circular, is the essence of the mm -hmm. geolocation API. Now with backendless, uh, this is the minimum functionality that you can get. It gets a lot more interesting because in addition to the regular latitude and longitude that each individual point consists of, you can actually add some additional data to each individual geo point. We call the data metadata because it describes what this geo point really represents. So let's say in the, in the case of taxi uh, app, this, this, these additional uh, metadata properties could represent the type of car it is, the make and model, name of the driver, it could represent the overall rating or whatever. And then these additional properties really just uh, are added as uh, key value pairs and attached to each individual uh, geo, geo point. Whenever these points are retrieved with that API to find points within certain geographic area, the metadata may come back to you if you request it with every single geo point but it gets even more interesting because you can search within the geographic area not only by radius as i had shown here but you can also query the metadata you can say find me all the geo points within this uh, radius where individual property equals whatever so let's say if you want to find all the cars where the rating is let's say four and greater you can say that rating greater than four and then all those geo points that can be found within this radius will come back to you so this is a kind of a, a summary of the geolocation api and there is a lot more to it you can link individual geo points to data objects which we discussed in the data persistence uh, video uh, you can do some additional searches through the relations and so on and uh, 
we will be looking into this and the specific APIs as we progress through our videos. But for today, this is it, and I hope you found it useful. Thank you.